So there's a few different myths about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. I would have to say the top one that I probably receive is that hormone therapy is cancer causing. That has been debunked and there's been lots of studies on bioidentical hormones saying just the complete opposite. They can actually have a lot more benefit versus actually cancer causing. Bioidentical means that uh, the, per, the actual molecular structure of the hormone matches our own bodies. So because that's the case, it's not a synthetic drug that's acting like a hormone. So our body uh, is very accustomed to it. it, it recognizes it, and it knows how to use it. So um, that's probably the number one myth about bioidenticals. I would say number two is probably that they're only used for menopausal age women. That is not true. We definitely use them for that population, but it's not the only population that we use them for. We use them for younger women that are struggling with a lot of PMS or, you know, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, they call it PMDD. Uh, we use it for polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a hormonal imbalance. So we use it in younger women, but bioidentical hormones are also used for men. That's not my department, but we do use uh, hormones in men. And those are probably the biggest myths that I would say that I've debunked.